The biggest complaint that everyone has about the Bamboo Lab P1S and P1P is the screen. Everyone claims that it's hard to use and doesn't have much functionality. I personally don't have that much of an issue with it, however, a lot of people do. The X1 Carbon comes with a nice big touchscreen that is easy to use, and the A1 and A1 Mini also have touchscreens that are also easy to use. But what if you want a touchscreen for your P1S and P1P? That's where the Big Tree Tech Panda Touch comes in. This is one of the first of its kind, and it's an upgrade for the P1P, P1S, and kind of all of the Bamboo Lab printers because of some of the features it has. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see if it's the best upgrade you can buy. The box comes along with the screen, its mount, and a few other accessories that you'll need. To install the screen, all you're going to have to do is screw in two screws and then you'll be set. The screen magnetically attaches to the mount, which makes it super easy and convenient to take off the printer. More about this feature later. To attach the actual screen mount to the printer, you're going to have to use this double-sided adhesive that comes on the mount. Personally, I think this is a very weird way of mounting it to the printer because the screen connection is actually pretty weak. And eventually it actually fell off the printer. In order to power this thing, on the back of the mount, there's this USB-C port. Then the magnetic screen interfaces with the mount in order to charge it while it's sitting on the printer. This means that when the printer's on, it's charging the screen and you can take it off and move it around wherever you need to go. The package comes with this USB-C cable, and conveniently the P1P and P1S have a little 5 volt USB port inside the actual printer. So all you have to do is plug it in and then route the wire through this little hole and it even has wire clips on the inside. Then connect it at the back of the screen and you're all set to be charged up. There are three different power settings on the actual screen. One of them is off. The second one is a little battery symbol. This means that the power will be powering the battery so it'll be charged when you take it off. The final setting is directly being powered from the 5 volt USB-C cable and won't be putting any power into the battery. Once the screen is all mounted and ready, you can go ahead and pick the power setting you want to use. I picked the battery option, but I'm sure I'll change this in the future. Once the screen turns on, it'll already prompt you to add a printer. To add the printer, you'll need the serial number, IP address, access code, and then you can add a few other optional things. If you're wondering where you can find all of this information, you can use the screen on the actual printer to find all of them. And the serial number on the P1S is going to be on the inside frame, so it's a little bit difficult to find. After you're done adding the printer, you're going to need to add the Wi-Fi. Simply just pick your Wi-Fi and put in the password and then you'll be all set. This will get you started with having one printer on the screen, but a lot of people will have many Bamboo Lab printers. You're actually able to connect a lot of them to just one screen, and any of the models are compatible. I personally have a P1S, A1, and A1 Mini, however you cannot connect the A1 right now because it's still recalled, and the new cable hasn't been sent out yet. But, it's coming soon. Once the screen is on and the printers are connected, you really are done with the setup process. And now you can go ahead and start printing with it. This has all of the same features of something like the X1 Carbon touchscreen would have, but now it's able to control many printers at the same time. I can see this being very useful for people who have print farms. I connected both of my Bamboo Lab printers that would work, and the process took less than 5 minutes. And as you can see, it'll control both of the printers at the same time when you do things like turn on the light. You can set the printers as a few different things. The options are disconnected, sync, slave, and then master. You're only able to set one printer as the master printer, which honestly makes sense. And again, this feature would be super useful if you have a print farm. You could set all of your printers as slaves and then one of them as the master and control them all at the same time. On the screen, you're able to control things like the bed temp, the nozzle temp, and move the printer around. You can also control the fans and see printing progress when you're printing something. A little disclaimer that Big Tree Tech has told me is that in the future, Bamboo Lab may release a firmware update that will block some of these features. 
such as being able to control the motion and temperatures of the printer. However, Big Tree Tech has been contacting Bamboo Lab and trying to find some workarounds. Big Tree Tech has a full video about this on their channel, so if you want to check that out, I would highly recommend it before you buy this product. The Panda Touch has a USB port on the side of the screen, as well as an I2C port at the back so that you can eventually add accessories. If you go to print something from the screen, you're able to select which printer you want to use, as well as if you're going to use the AMS, do a time lapse, bud level, and all those different options. So this is a great way to control a lot of printers at one time. I did a little test to see how far I could take the screen and still be able to control the printer. So I took it off the mount and walked all the way to my basement from my studio and was still able to control the printer. And this is because it's controlled by Wi-Fi, so anywhere in your house or wherever you have your printers that has the Wi-Fi should be able to control the printers. I wish in the corner where this panda was, there was a little live feed of the print from the camera. That way you could have this with you to control and monitor the print all at the same time. But you can always use the smartphone app Bamboo Handy. So what are the pros and cons of the Panda Touch? The pros are that it's super easy to use, only takes a few minutes of setup, and this would be amazing if you have a print farm like I stated before. And quite frankly, it solves the issue that everyone had with the P1P and P1S. However, the cons are, I personally don't mind the screen because I use the computer or my phone most of the time anyways. I also really dislike how this screen is mounted to the printer, but I'm sure there's workarounds out there. Another major con is that you may purchase this now and then Bamboo Lab limits the features of it later. That means this product will lose most of its features and really only be a device for monitoring the printer's status. However, Big Tree Tech is really working to work around this. And there's a decent chance that Bamboo Lab's eventual API will work with this Panda Touch. So it's a risk you're gonna take. So in my opinion, if the screen on the P1P and P1S really bugs you, I would say this is a great purchase for now. I would also say it's a great purchase if you have tons of bamboo printers or run a print farm. But if neither of those apply to you, I would stick with just using the screen, your smartphone, and the computer. Big Tree Tech did send me this, but didn't tell me to say anything or give me any money for this video. I've had very, very limited use of this, so I'll update you in the future if I like it or not. Let me know down in the comments below if you would purchase the Panda Touch and if you think it's worth the almost $60 price tag. Peace out.